Man, this video is gonna be amazing, brother. What similarities had Barry Bonds and Babe Ruth? Ooh. They both, they, they both, both hit a lot of home runs. Yes, they both were consistent too. They hit at different times. One hit in a long time ago and a lot of home runs and Barry Bonds probably the most lately leader of home runs. He's still alive. The other one is already gone, you know? And we found a video of this guy, Babe Ruth, and it was pretty cool to see him and go and they put colors in the video and all that. And I feel like, a, damn, we need to talk about this because, yes. you know, you maybe are old school of about hitting because maybe you've been taught one way and that's the way it used to be taught. And then the new way is launch angle, whatever. I don't know, but videos don't lie. We all about the video. We all about how you look in videos. And we all about if we look like the best, we probably gonna do be better, right? We probably gonna be like the best. Or in some point, we if we get strong and all that, we gonna be like the best because we move like the best. Okay, so let's just watch this video, man. We're talking about two guys that hit over 700, 700 home runs. Uh, Babe Ruth in the left. And Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds in the right. Barry Bonds is the leader of home runs right now. 762 home runs. Babe Ruth is the third, I believe. But Babe Ruth is like a big name. Babe Ruth is like everybody knows Babe Ruth. Mm -hmm. you know? And they know he's hanging you know, around, whatever. But Babe Ruth... It's harder to find videos because it was like a long time ago, a long time ago. And we saw that video and it was kind of viral on Instagram, whatever. And I'm like, dude, we need to talk about it because you see some similarities. Also, already, you see some similarities already. Yep. Oh, already. 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 So they both are standing out. Much. Already. Look at that. You know what? Leave it like that. Oh, you know, put me. People, this is what I do. This is for the show. But... When this it's time for business, I put my glasses. And this yes. is what we do in Los Castro Bros. That, Los Castro Bros. Com, in the VIP membership. We're going to analyze your video just like this. And we're going to tell you specific details that you're missing and that you have to get better. And we give you drills. We take you to the right path. You're going to you're gonna have a guidance. We're going to be us. It's going to be us. We're going to get you where you need to be. So as you can see, normally when you are, are a client, VIP client, this is what we do. Imagine this is you or this is somebody or like, this is Barry Bond and this is you. And you're going to be right here and I'm going to tell you, look, at Barry Bonds is moving like that, you are moving like this. So we need to work on that. And then you put a little bit more effort right here and then you put the effort on the drills and everything's going to match with time and practice and then guess what happened? Then you become somebody. Mm -hmm. because you're moving like the best instead of going with a lot of rodeo and say ah knock down to the ball ah launch angle well dude let's just go to the video let's just do the move that we need to do let's just have the conversation you need to have and you don't need to go all the way here you don't need to travel all the way to us to just get one lesson or two lessons three lessons a lot of people do that and you can do that as well you get in contact with yeah, all we you do that. Uh -huh. but I feel like you can have us in your pocket and we can help you that's what we do in LosCastroPros.com, VIP membership. So this is the deal. But Beirut, when he moved forward, he moved with the with the hands down, just like Barry Bones. Barry Bones had the same type of movement. The only thing is Beirut moved with the already with the feet cross like that. Feet cross. And and, and, and I feel like I, that we do that as a drill. Yep. Some people do that as a drill. And they move the right way forward because the, the reason that you do that is because you want to move forward with the back pocket to the pitcher so you can keep the coil mm -hmm. around your back uh, we give you money right there this yeah. is the good what we just tell you is good for some dinosaur coaches that do that drill and they don't even know how to do it and they do it all moving forward yes. looking for power oh you need to trump for your way and hit the so you can bring power and yes. they do it the uh, wrong way stop stop trying luck because if you are a teacher you cannot say yeah, two plus two is four, but then when you go further in the run, it's gonna be five, and it's gonna be a, like ideas. No, 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 no. Let's go straight up to the to the point, and it's that's a teacher supposed to do. I'm trying to be the best teacher I can be. He's trying to be the best teacher I can be. He can be. 
I already failed as a baseball player. He already failed as a baseball player. But now we fail in a way of, yeah, I already done with the game. But you know why we don't keep failing? Because we evolve. We evolve because now as a coaches, we don't want to fail. You get what I'm saying? So when you're a player, you probably don't got no choice because you're trying to pick, uh, sneak and pick it from different people and you don't get nowhere. Yep. And in some point, it's just talent. The talent don't allow you. You still have to have power. You have to have speed, stuff like that. But the mechanics now with information, it's so much information out there. They either mess you up or get you better. But with the videos is the proof of the reality. Okay. So right there, this is Caesar move. I think that helped it to move forward with the back pocket. It's just kind of like a drill. But what I like about him, he got the shoulders and chest down. So he have a good posture with his hip hinge. Okay. And this move right here is non-negotiable. This is the elite move. That's elite code. Right elite there. code. We need that you to have move. to apply. We need to move like that. Yep. If you can move like that before pitcher release, better. Because you're in a situation that you just pull the trigger. If we are not there, we're going to do extra movement when we're about to swing. And then we got in the struggles. And then we panic. And we don't trust ourselves. And we have to cheat a system. We have to swing up front. And then you see change-ups. And you play higher level. Change-ups and fastball look worse. Because now, pitcher's throwing 100. And then a little change up is the difference, big difference. So you don't have the right mechanics, it's gonna affect you. Okay? Now, so so far, he's moving like a lead player. He's moving right. Because if we compare with the best, go to this one. I say the best because he had it. He had the numbers. Now, he moved forward, he got the little pop just like with the hands. So then when he started moving forward, boom. Oof, in the money. They both have the same move right there. Their chest is staying in the back leg. They're moving forward with the back pocket to the pitcher. He's already in the money. He's there already to pull the trigger. Now, this is when it started coming the different. This is when it started getting a little bit different, okay? So here, when he's just already about to land the front heel, normally I would not like the extra movement forward. Here, this is the deal. This is something that Babe Ruth probably he had a little bit extra move forward when he was leaking, turn, a little leaking, a little leaking, but he was still releasing in the back leg. If you can see that from here is not landing and the back leg is already creating the turn, creating the the turn, the turn. Yep. And here's the deal. This guy Barry Bonds, the same move, but. Barry Bones, it was more in the back. He was tilting better. So, obviously... Much cleaner swing. Much cleaner, more time. Mm -hmm. Because... And I see a lot of players, like Julio Rodriguez. He moves so much forward. So much forward when he's swinging. Yep. And I know he got so much talent. And he can probably hit, like, over 40 home runs every year. But some players, they don't even get to find out. Because they don't even know. Okay, now these days more information, but now you still can find the wrong information anyway. You're gonna see Alex Rodriguez video and he's gonna have millions of views. So guess what? A lot of co a lot of players or little kids gonna listen to him, to him, because he did it. He's teaching it. But the thing is, a lot of these great players, they are not good teachers. No. They are not good teachers. They don't know because I'm telling you, I used to be that I used to be like that. Yep. I used to coach. We used to coach like that. And we fail. And we fail. And I see the frustration. I see my frustration. I want the kid to do better in games. I want the kid. I don't want just the best kids, the best players, to I that made me feel good as a coach. I want whoever. And I want to change their career. I want to be something in their life. You get what I'm saying? Not just the idea. They're really true of what makes them better. Because it's proof. I want the coach, the players believe that they can be their own coaches. They can coach themselves because when they pro play pro, they need to coach themselves, okay? But sometimes you need a little guidance, so maybe we are the guidance for you. So this is the this is when it starts changing, but he's still releasing in the back. A lot of people believe, no, in the long time before, they were all up front. Watch out, because all up front, what it is for you, probably is different for us. Because you can be still up front, but he's releasing the back still. Yep. 
So when it's up front, it's whenever you land all your way in the front leg and then you start turning your back leg. That's the problem. Okay? So he's still releasing the back leg. The only thing I would say, he just needs to clean a little bit by staying back and clean a little bit like tilting situation, just like Barry Bones right there. And it's drills for that. It's, it's movement that you work for that. And more with the pitching nowadays, yes. you really have to make sure you're moving like Barry Bones more than Beirut. Oh, yeah. Because the pitching is I mean, hard. The, these people hit without helmets. Yeah. These people, I don't know, if it's a Chapman throwing at me without oh, helmet. No, 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 no way. I get hit in the head. You, oh, you're dead. You're dead. Fractured brain, yep. whatever. I don't know. But it's dangerous. And I bet it happened in the past that, like, some people get hurt because they, you, I know some players, they probably bring some mechanics and they throw hard. Yep. But, you know, like, now these days, it's mechanics. Pitchers understand the full movement and they're getting better. And then it's more players. Like, in the past, probably, no, this player go to basketball, this player go to football. Now it's like, you're six, seven, you can probably still come to the game, and then he come from Africa. You know, it's just going to come more and more talented people, and they're going to come with the evolution of the movement, and they're going to play the game, and then they're going to make the, the game harder. It's not boring, people. So people that say, no, now they don't hit no more. Dude, dude. <laughs> I change if you if I throw 85, I might change you 70, whatever. It's it's I, I can adjust to that. Yep. But when your change up is 80 or 80 something, and then you throw 100, I'm shit. I need to stay back. I need to do something because I need time for hit that fastball 100. I don't say that you cannot hit 100. I'm saying you can hit 100 the right way, so you can weigh on change up too. Mm -hmm. And it's not gonna be all the way right now. The best technique. It's right here because when I see Manny Ramirez, when I see uh, Mike Trout, they move the same. Okay. Ah, okay. The other difference is how they turn the knob. If you can see when they're tilting on the knob, you see the knob action. It's turning the right way. It's turning more to shortstop so they it can develop better connection. Here, the knob is going more, it's going more like this. So now he just bring it with his body. That is not bad, but the specifications that we are getting right here. And then when you're talking about somebody who was really consistent and late time now, like these days, it was him, right? It was the most consistent, right? So, uh, and then you can see a little bit, a little bit like a, you know, disconnecting, yep. whatever, but it's still moving back and it's not pushing the hands forward on top of your shoulders like a lot of coaches teach okay but you see a lot of similarities right there you know it's just little details that i can i would say hey okay uh, watch out with the with the how you turn the knob how you turn the knob so you can bring that clean swing you know yeah, what i'm saying he's not too far away from no, Barry Bonds. it's not too far if you can put it right here it's just what it's, it's similar a, it's a lot of similarities okay now this is the deal. You see that bat? Getting that in the bat. song early. The hands, when you turn the barrel back there and your back and your back let take you, that's what you're going to get. But a lot of players, they come to us because they come from dinosaur coaches and they come with their pushy hands. They come with the knob going to the ball, but the barrel still in the neck like that and the shoulders all pushy. The barrel don't get the entrance that we need. Sometimes they don't got the body posture. And right here, you can see both. They don't throw the hands to the ball. The back leg is turning. The tilting is happening. Shoulders are in the right posture. And the hands are still not moving forward. The hands are just the result of the right move with their body. And they both have that. So I would say, Beirut, right now, with that, just that mechanic, at least 30 home runs a hit. Oh, yeah. Just with that mechanic. But I'm sure he's not going to be dumb. He's going to be like, nah, this game is faster, so I need to get a little bit more. He's going he gonna to make sure he make the adjustments and get the knowledge, the and, right knowledge. And the adjustment that he's going to get is not that far. No. He's not that far because he's not pushing hands. He's not He's, he's not doing bad. He's not doing bad. But I see players worse than that right now playing the game today, and then they cannot hit. They cannot bring big numbers. But 
it's some things that are non-negotiable. It's some things that are non-negotiables. And it's going to be less negotiable with time go by because the game is getting harder and harder. But if you can see, Barty Bones, he was staying more back, so he got more time. The, t the turn of the barrel and the connection was more cleaner, so he had more time because of that. Too. He was in the money. He was in the money. So here is the deal. He's more like a, going a little bit more forward when he start to turning and that take him take time from him. So in this swing, he just he fall it off or pop it off, whatever. But it doesn't matter. His move was the same videos that I saw in the past. It happened. You know, it happened. You're gonna miss the ball. But the deal is the consistency and the long term how you move is gonna depend on your mechanics. Like. If you want consistency, I'm not talking about a playoff because I, it was a professional player coming below and say, ah, you're, you're teaching fly balls. And, and I see his number. What are you talking about? You don't got the numbers to tell me no. how it is. Ah, no, you're going to hit fly ball because this is the thing, how brainwashed they are. They're thinking because they got good, they get to play in the MLB and they play years. They're thinking they can teach just because they were there. And they forget about, look at how talented you were, mm -hmm. how good you were. Why are you talking about uh, you can teach that? Because I, I promise you, Barry Bones pro probably tried to teach it, and it, it's, it's not working for when he when he was a coach or a -Rod. But it's one specific technique. But now you have to go to your video so that you can see, okay, I'm moving like the best. If you don't looking like the best, don't even try. Don't even try to. Don't even try. It's going to get harder. Don't. Ah, my feeling. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling that. Yes, yeah, good the feeling. It's good what the coach is telling you about the feeling, but you have to move like the best, okay? So they both have elite movement, but obviously he's a little bit more front and he can have, and Barry Bones have a better turn and the direction. So keep the connection. So if you want this kind of video analysis Ooh. like this. For specific for you with more details and take you to the right path, go to loscastros.com into our VIP and become a member and you will not regret it. We promise that, okay? And let's keep growing this channel. Thank you for watching. Let's keep growing the Castro Bros gang. Subscribe over here and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.